billionaire Elon Musk's is about to turn us all into superhumans. His latest invention, the Neuralink brain chip, will give us telepathic powers. Elon Musk stirred headlines again, but not with his characteristic bold comments, but for Neuralink, his brain-computer interface startup. On Tuesday, he announced on social media that Neuralink successfully installed its first brain implant in a paralyzed patient. When news first emerged about Neuralink's brain chip, many were skeptical. The idea of implanting a coin-sized computer into the folds of the brain seemed fantastical. But then videos surfaced of monkeys playing ping pong and typing using just their mind. Apparent telekinesis was on display. We were witnessing science fiction become reality. Upon closer inspection, Neuralink's technology works by connecting tiny flexible electrodes to neurons in the motor cortex. These electrodes can record electrical signals whenever someone imagines moving a limb or typing a sentence. The chip then wirelessly transmits this neural data to devices like a phone or computer. In essence, the technology allows controlling devices purely by thinking about desired actions. This opens doors but also stokes some fears. What if such an implant stopped working inside the most complex organ, the brain? Does fusing minds and machines threaten what makes us human? Surely the tech was too scary for people yet. But progress marched on swiftly. This week, Elon Musk tweeted announcement of the first human implanted with Neuralink's Link chip, and reportedly the patient is recovering well. In a stunning breakthrough, technology has enabled a form of telepathy and mind over matter capability. Like it or not, the future is certainly here, technology. No larger than a coin, the link is a computer chip implanted inside the brain to read nerve signals. Its main component, a custom chip containing processor circuits and an antenna for wireless data transfer. This processes neuronal data so devices can understand user intentions sensed by electrodes in the brain. The electrode array detects electrical spikes whenever neurons activate in the motor cortex, the brain's movement control center. These signals get amplified, digitized, and relayed by the chip to an external wireless receiver like a smartphone. Custom decoding algorithms then translate the data into commands to operate phones, keyboards, wheelchairs, any Bluetooth paired device, just by thinking about the action. Elon Musk stated that telepathy facilitates the ability to control one's phone or computer and nearly any device, solely through cognitive thought processes. The tiny implant taps into signals inside your brain whenever you think about moving your hands. It's like it reads your mind. This allows controlling phones and computers simply by imagining you are typing or swiping on them. Amazing. So those unable to move their arms due to injury or illness could text, email, play games, or anything by thinking alone. Brain power replaces body power. As Musk says, imagine if Stephen Hawking could communicate faster than a speed typist or auctioneer. That is the goal, Musk said in a recent post on X Applications. In April 2021, the company demonstrated a macaque monkey playing video games using only its Neuralink implant. It used its mind alone to move an on-screen paddle, no hands touching any physical controller. The agility and low latency suggest neuron spikes were accurately captured decoded and transmitted by the Link device. But Neuralink has always targeted human trials as its real testing ground. After promising initial safety data, the company finally received FDA approval for its first human trial in May 2023. This recruited quadriplegic volunteers, paralyzed from neck down due to spinal cord injury. Trials aimed to return communication and mobility to such patients using just electrical signals from their brains. Even limited success could revive independence in those robbed of movement by disease or trauma. This week, Musk revealed the first recipient of the Link device from these volunteers. The implanted chip is functioning safely so far, recording neuron spikes as planned. This marks a major milestone, transitioning brain-computer interfaces from lab success to clinical adoption. Much work lies ahead still in interpreting myriad neural inputs to improve computer control. Could brain chips be hacked? Despite excitement over human trials, critics warn long-term effects remain unpredictable for any nascent technology. Implantable devices grappling with biological complexity introduce new hazards, seen and unseen. Since brain chips link minds and machines, hackers may try hacking neural signals. Nobody wants their thoughts and memories spied on. Things like bank passwords imagined in your head 
could get stolen maybe. To prevent this, engineers use techniques like encryption and firewalls, similar to how VPNs work. Still, 100% safety is tough with such cutting-edge gear interfaced to our brains. Elon Musk has created a coin-sized brain chip that can make wheelchairs, phones and computers move by just thinking at them. The chip reads brain signals about hand motions and sends them to devices via Bluetooth, making them respond by just imagining moves. Awesome, right? These mind-controlled gadgets could set paralyzed patients free. Well, hard to say for sure. We don't know yet if brain chips go weird after many years deep inside skulls. And hacking into chips could be scary. What if they change what you remember or make you do strange things? We have to be careful. And there you have it. A glimpse into the promise and pioneering brain chip implants. Feel free to share your thoughts on the technology's potential benefits versus risks in comments section. If you found this analysis of Neuralink's progress insightful, be sure to like and subscribe to the AI Bulletin Board for more coverage on emerging neurotech innovations.